Will Gibb. Hey guys, yeah, uh, my name is Will. It's a very nice, normal name. I was uh, very fortunate enough actually to be born into some very unexperimental parents. <laughs> I can uh, very safely assume what position I was conceived in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about my parents. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. That's my dad's job. He can <laughs> talk about that all he wants. Right. Um, yeah, no, but I will talk about names. Names are very interesting, um, especially old people names. Have you ever noticed that there are some names that you won't see, like, a young person having? Like Gertrude, for example. Like, you'll never see a young girl running around called Gertrude. You just won't. And I think that comes down to the fact, like, as a mother, let's say, as a mother, I'm speaking to all you women in the crowd here, as a mother, you cannot go through the intense physical pain of what is childbirth. To go through that, it's the most painful thing on earth, and to have your baby placed in your arms. And you cannot look at that baby and go, oh, I love you so much, my little angel. And what rhymes with angel? Gertrude, Gertrude, you're going to be called Gertrude. Brilliant. You have to be born an 85-year-old arthritic lady to be called Gertrude. You have to crawl out of the room like, come out of the room like that, and the doctors can be like, oh my gosh, code black, we've got a Gertrude, put it in a hospice, oh my god, it's disgusting. Any Gertrudes in the house tonight? No? Brilliant, brilliant. Um, but I, I love old people. Old people are very interesting, um, especially they like to complain a lot about uh, Snapchat. Everyone knows Snapchat, yeah? Yeah, and it's weird because, you know, I'd think that old people would, you know, complain about more pressing matters, you know, like death. But um, <laughs> Snapchat seems to be, you know, what they like to complain about. And uh, a lot of people say, you know, oh, but, you know, if, if you got into Snapchat, you'd love it. You know, give it a try. Thank God they don't take that advice on board. Because can you imagine the type of Snapchats that old people would send? Be like, just got my kidney removed. Hashtag close call. Okay. Or there's like an effect that ages your face. And I can imagine them sending that like, oh, this would be really funny. I'll look like this. But, you know, the person on the receiving end opens that Snapchat. Like, that's what it looks like, like a decomposing zombie or something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, yes. I guess I'm a bit of a uh, gentophobiac. Gentophobia being fear of old people. I love old people, though, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, it's quite funny because uh, you'll see, um, you know, a lot of people like old people, you know, gentophobia. They have phobias. A lot of people have phobias. Another interesting phobia is heliophobia, fear of the sun. Which, which can translate quite easily into our red-headed person, yeah. Huh. Yep. It's a fear. It's a natural... Thank you for clapping that. I actually am scared. <laughs> um, there's Judeophobia, fear of Jews. Yeah, I know. Did he just say Jew? Oh, my gosh. No, I know, yeah. But um, who would have Judeophobia? Do you know what I mean? Like, I imagine Hitler may have had it just a little bit. Like, I can imagine the Americans coming in like, Pff, Adolf Hitler, you're under the arrest for the murder of six million Jews. Well, I'm sorry. You try living with Judeophobia. It's hard. What was I meant to do? Not murder them? Oh, you don't know what it's like. Just get out. You've got my moustache all shivery. I uh, don't know why Adolf Hitler became a whiny teenage girl. <laughs> they didn't even exist back then. <laughs> Except for um, Anne Frank. <laughs> oh. Have you read her journal? Complain, complain, complain. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. I've been Will Gibb. You've been great. Thank you.